Okay, now we're looking at the front door. We're going to walk right in the door into the foyer. So we've got a closet on the right and a lot of nice, lot of nice space here right inside the foyer. I know it's a little hard to see with the wall. Let me shut the door. Now from the foyer we're looking into the entrance to the home. So on our right is the third bedroom which is actually set up as a den more than a bedroom with the French doors. You can see hopefully. Then I'm going to walk into that bedroom. You can see on the left is a closet and then I'm just going to pan the room slowly. So you can see there's two lights or two windows. I'm sorry. Lots of room for light. Nice room. Uh, but that would make a nice den. Then we're going to look back and then we're going to look um, all the way around. But I'm going to go on into the home. So on the left is the second bathroom and shower. Now we're looking into the great room. Then off to our right is the dining room. So I'm going to move over here and pan that a little bit. So here's this, the dining room. So I'm going to go around. See it has a lot of light as well with windows. Lots and lots of room for a big dining room table, china cabinet, you know, whatever you might have. And then I'm going to swing back to the great room. So now again we're looking at the great room and I'm going to walk on into that. So we're looking out at the backyard. This home has a lot of built-ins. So you can see there's built-ins there. It's gas fireplace, built-ins beyond that, and then the windows, and then the door to the patio. And I'll go out there in just a second. And there's some built-ins on this wall as well. So I'm going to pan this room again a little bit. The doors to the patio. Straight ahead. You can see the windows are high, so there's lots and lots of light. So then I'm going to go to the left and look out onto the patio in the backyard. But it's um, December when I'm doing this. You can see the landscaping is all pretty forlorn right now. But you can see you have a nice covered patio. Oh, let me pan up a little bit so there's the roof there. Covered patio. And then we just go saw the rock walls behind and then the, the common area up above where the deer go through. Then I'm going to pan back into the great room. Now I'm standing just beside the fireplace. Let me get us oriented again. The fireplace. Then just beyond is a breakfast nook. So I'm going to walk straight into the breakfast nook in the kitchen. So here's the breakfast nook. nice and bright. Lots of lights or lots of windows. I see Kate saying lights and I mean windows. Now we're in the kitchen, so there's lots of cupboard space. It's, it's a gallery type kitchen, I guess you'd call it. Um, let's see, right there's the stove, top, nice big pantry. Again, lots and lots of built-ins. And now we're looking straight back into the dining room, so I'm going to walk back that way, and that's making a circle. So I'll come back where we started in the great room before I go on to the rest of the home. So let's see again, we're looking into the dining room and then we're looking back into the great room. So you can see it's a really open floor plan. You can easily walk between all the rooms with minimum amount of walls. Then on the, off to the right is, or be the left side of the house, but we're right now is the master. Again, there's a lot of built-ins in this particular home. So here's the master bedroom. I'm going to pan that. Windows. It's in the back part of the house, so it's very secluded and very quiet. Some built-ins over here on this wall. Then the master bath is just off of there, so I'm going to peek in there. So there's the master bath, two sinks. Huge walk-in closet here. And then the, the toilet shower area is here. Big shower. The shower has a couple grab bars and a seat. You can see this one has the wand and the um, fixed shower. So let's go back. And we're going to go back into the master, back out, and look at the rest of the home, the other bed bedroom, a utility room in the garage. Now we're looking back at the dining room. Now we're looking back. That door that you see all the way to the end is the entrance. That's where we came in. So then on our right, this doorway is the second bathroom. And it's a little simpler, but still does have the tub and shower, so it could easily be a guest bathroom. Okay, and then straight on here, so we're back facing the entrance, then went to this direction, is the second bedroom, or third bedroom, I'm sorry. And this is bigger than the first one, the one I mentioned that was really set up more as a den. There's the closet there. Let me pan this a little bit. Nice big window. Nice size room here. Back, okay, now we're going to go back out the door, 
and to our immediate right is the laundry room but this home does not have the washer and dryer included so you could either bring your own or we could provide one for you that would go with the home. These are a nice utility sink, lots and lots of storage, and plenty of room for more storage. And straight ahead is the garage. So for you men that might be watching it, here's your room. <laughs> See, it's a nice big two-car garage, lots and lots of storage space, lots of room for more storage space. A couple windows and outside door, Some shelving. And then we'll look back, so then we're back into the home from the garage. And then we'll walk right back to the foyer and then that will complete the tour. We didn't get us too turned around. So we're walking back, there's another closet right here. And then we're back facing the third bedroom of the den, closet there, and back where we started with the entrance. So if this is helpful, you should also have the floor plan that we sent you. I believe the floor plan is flipped. It's reversed, but this is cottage 16 and it's currently